so sad, but I think we are getting close to the summer. We have one more week of um, workouts. The players have finals next week, and so uh, just two more workouts. But we actually got three more workouts than we did last year in somehow or another, so it's pretty good. How important is this time of year? You know, it's important for so many reasons. One is just to build the chemistry of your team, uh, for everybody to get to know each other, but also just to start introducing the concepts of your program. Um, like today, we were, we're talking about offensive transition for the first time today. But you get all these basics kind of in in the summer, and then when you come back in the fall, you can really start getting after it. It just puts you ahead so much farther. Is there a different feeling this summer when you have so much of the roster back? It is different. Um, you know, when you have everybody coming back, um, you have to have a few new wrinkles. Otherwise, you don't want them to get bored, right? Um, so we're doing a couple things new, but also just to bring in and welcome those four newcomers. Um, it's really important um, to have that time. Speaking of those newcomers, what have you seen from Hannah so far? Uh, I, she's going she's gonna to be a... A, a terrific player. I mean, watch out because she has so much athleticism. She's so capable. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see her freshman year. I don't know how that's going to pan out with learning the system and having everybody returning, but her future is incredibly bright. Sounds like she can kind of jump through the gym. Yeah, I mean, after every practice, she kind of jumps and grabs the rim and pulls it down. So it's kind of fun to see. <laughs> At the end of two-hour workout, she still has her legs behind her like that. Maybe I need to make her work harder. I don't know. <laughs> early, early in the season, it can be tough for some teams to have to replace starters. You guys are going to have your starting lineup back for the third straight season. How big of an advantage is that early in the year? It is because you're not having as much teaching. Um, you know, really, it's kind of building the chemistry of those new people. But yeah, I, I can. What I can do right now is give some of those older veterans some time off. Let them really be fresh in March. You know, because maybe I, they don't have to have as many repetitions early because they already know the system. So give more repetitions to the younger players and save. You know, Monica's niece for the rest of the year. I think that's a real advantage for us. We had a few players miss last season to to be in here. What are the, the status of those players and how they're coming along? Yeah, both Shatia Wettering and Sharon Goodman um, obviously missed last year. We were able to medically redshirt them for the year. Um, so they get the year back, but they're progressing really well. Um, they're coming back. Um, they should be at full strength. They're not there now, but they should be at full strength by uh, October 1st. With you know Sharon being back in the fold, what do you see in terms of front court depth You know this year with her, Monica, Madison, um, and others? Yeah, I mean, right now we, we do have a lot of depth at that position, which is great bringing Sharon back. You know, Addie learned a lot last year, kind of backing up that post position. Uh, but now it gives us the flexibility to really move Addie to some four, which is really more of her desired position. And then, you know, Hannah really could, Hannah Stalke could really play either position for us. Right now we're focusing having her on the perimeter, but I think she could be unbelievable inside. Looking back at last year, how much of a challenge was that when you have somebody like Monica who's like super high on the experience and then like the next person, Addy, who is, you know, very low on the experience and is not somebody that kind of can bridge the gap between those two? You know, I just think it's kind of a good time to come into a program when you have somebody that's a veteran there and then you're a newcomer, you know, because as coaches, then we want to bring you along. And so you're going to get those minutes, but you have that veteran person. So the, the you know, the responsibility is not completely on that, that newcomer. I, I think it's a good transition, actually, to have that veteran and that newcomer in there at the same time. Does that remind you at all about Men Megan and Monica? Absolutely. It is the same exact scenario. And, you know, Monica didn't play a whole lot her freshman year, but she was a sponge. She learned how to be a Division One player. She learned as much as she could from Megan and then also got into games because we needed to prep her for that that time. And then look how she's responded. What's it like to have 15 players to bring? It's a little unusual. Um, you know, we haven't had 15 on our roster I don't know if we've ever had 15 at Iowa, so that's a little different. Um, you know, what it does is, again, for me, I'm, I'm looking at it as an opportunity to rest my veterans a little bit. They know they don't need as many reps as the freshmen and sophomores do, so give them that rest so that they have a little bit better legs for the games and at the end of the year. How do you feel about the NIL space and kind of, you have a really marketable athlete on your, on your team. Oh man, um, <laughs> this is crazy times we're living in right yeah. now with everything from the transfer portal to NIL. It's just different, right? But as coaches, we have to adapt. I mean, if you're gonna 
you know, push back on it, you're going to get left in the dust. Yeah. I mean, you've got to embrace it. And that's what we're trying to do with the collective. I'm so proud that we're at a school like the University of Iowa that has men's, women's basketball along with football in that collective. I see schools all over the country where it's only football or only men's basketball and football. And for the University of Iowa to include women's basketball just speaks volume about the culture of this university and, and also the guys in charge of those programs. Um, so I'm really proud of that, that we're gonna be a part of that collective. And it obviously is something that we can sell to our recruits. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we do have a very marketable athlete in Caitlin Clark and go for it. I mean, it gives her the opportunity to learn so many business skills. I mean, she's learning how to market herself, how to sign contracts, how to be responsible to show up, um, you know, it gives her more time in front of the PR, right? Like to, to market herself. And so those are all transferable skills into her next life. And she's learning those at a really rapid pace. So I think it's great. But, you know, she's not the only one. I mean, we've, you know, Monica and McKenna had deals last year. Um, Kate ran a basketball camp last year along with Monica. So it, it's, you know, I think it's a great opportunity for them. What have you seen from Molly so far? From who? Molly. From Molly. I'm sorry. Um, I thought you said Allie. I'm like, oh. Allie, Mr. Hoff. I, was that like, I, I just saw her last week, Allie. But, you know. um, no, Molly, uh, to have that experience come in. I mean, she has three years of Division One experience. I know it was maybe at the BCS level, but they played against BCS schools, including us just two years ago. We saw how well she did in that game. So we love having that depth at that point guard position. We didn't have it last year. That was the one area we didn't have. We were able to accomplish that with the transfer portal. So having her come in, and she's not going to be restricted just to the point guard position backup. She will challenge for off guard time as well. Last season, you guys took a few steps forward on the defensive end. What have you seen from your defense this, this summer? Now, I think they bought in and they understand the importance of defense. And that's kind of the main thing is that, that mentality change that we made last year. And now hopefully we can just keep building on it. We made big jumps. We made big jumps last year, but we need to continue those strides. And we also need to be a better rebounding team, um, especially offensively. We did not get as many offensive rebounds as we need to uh, last year. And that's where I think Hannah Stolke can really help us. All right.